Hey, beautiful friends. Today, we're going to talk about something that is very near and dear to my heart. Of course, faith, because it's a Friday Faith Foundation episode. But we're also going to talk about not being timid, especially if you want to create a personal brand strategy for a sustainable business. I love to talk about personal branding, creating a personal brand, building out a personal brand strategy just fuels me. So I'm excited to share this episode with you today and looping in faith into creating your personal brand. Whether your faith is forward facing in your business or not, doesn't matter. Um, you can incorporate your faith into your business. Ultimately, that's what's going to help you show up with integrity, with authenticity, and being who God has called you to be so that you can fulfill that purpose that he's put on your heart. I want you to think of your personal brand as the perceptions others have of you. It's a story, your story, that others want to be part of. A story that they can see themselves in because they like you and they trust you. Your personal brand is how you differentiate yourself from all others in your niche. It designates why someone would want to or should hire you and work with you. Without a personal brand, you have nothing to communicate to the marketplace. You have nothing to market. You can't create a marketing strategy if you don't have a personal brand as the foundation of your business. What defines your unique personal brand? How would you answer that question? If you have a personal brand that isn't visible online, no one will know that you're there to help them. So let me ask you, is fear holding you back from becoming visible? From shouting from the rooftops your story that people need to hear so that they want to be in your community and ultimately hire you? Second Timothy 1.7 reminds us, the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. You have the Holy Spirit inside of you if you believe in Christ as your Savior. Therefore, you have his power. And that power should give you confidence to stand firm, boldly, and courageously in telling your story and sharing your personal brand differentiating yourself from everyone else out there out of love so that people can find you and you can serve them and with self-discipline so that you are consistent. Your con story consists of the good, the bad, and the not so good. But sharing the not so good doesn't have to feel terrifying. You can be vulnerable without expressing how awful things were. You learned from each mistake that you made, right? You, your story then can be told in a way that includes what didn't work, but emphasizing what you learned and how you changed to create something better. Share the transformations you experienced and that God helped you make when you trusted him to lead you and guide you and you stepped into the power that the Holy Spirit has given you. When you share your story, people will see that you understand them, what they are experiencing and what they need and desire. Sharing your story will allow you to address the pain points that your soulmate clients are experiencing because most likely they are just steps behind you. You've heard me say that before, that they may be months to years behind you on the journey that you can now help them on. Think of sharing your story like this. The story, an aha moment, you realized there was something better 
that you could do something better, you could create something better, you could change how you were doing something for the better, and then how you achieved the transformation. So what needs to be included in your personal brand strategy? First and foremost, you are the core of your personal brand and you must differentiate yourself from everyone else in your niche. Make a list of everything you've experienced that gives you that uniqueness that differentiates you from everyone else. These things will include your experiences, both life and business, those things that formed you into who you are today, your education, clients that you've worked with, and the results that you have helped them achieve, the problems that you solve, and the desires you fulfill. A great way to get some of this information is to look back on your testimonials and the things people have said about you. You can also ask friends and family members how they perceive you. What are the words they would use to describe you? Also, the way you work with your soulmate clients is essential, and this is part of your differentiation. You must define who your soulmate clients are, how you work with them, why you work with them, what you offer, products and services, your price structure, and the quality that you provide. Your personal brand and its characteristics will influence your business structure. Don't be timid. Boldly and courageously, yet humbly, share your experiences, gifts, and talents. Connect with your soulmate clients. Don't hide your light under a bushel. Step into the gifts God has given you and share them. But remember, your personal brand is not about you. Sounds harsh, I know but it is about serving others. You will attract your soulmate clients when you show up and serve instead of seeking attention or wanting people to do something for you. You will have an impact when you positively influence others by showing up as your authentic self, showing them that you care and serving them out of love, that love that God has placed inside your heart. Don't focus on the conversion and the payout. Show up to serve first and the money will come. However, you will not convert people into clients if you focus only on making money. I really want to emphasize that. If you're serving yourself in it and your ego, you will not convert your community, your audience, people you meet into clients. Serve first. Then the money will come because you will have built trust and confidence. Trust and confidence are keys to influence. To create a personal brand strategy, you must stand on integrity, influence, and impact. When you act with integrity and follow through on what you say you can and will do, you will positively influence people and they will want to buy from you. And then you will be able to have a positive impact on them. Even if they don't buy from you, you have the opportunity to have a positive impact. So if you think of presenting yourself with integrity, influencing people because you are showing up out of love to serve, you will have an impact. Ultimately, you will be able to sell without selling. You can talk all you want, but if you don't build trust and take action and demonstrate that you are worth your words, you're not gonna go anywhere. The more integrity you demonstrate, the more influence you will have, leading to a more positive impact. When you positively impact others, 
they will tell their community about you and want to have and buy everything that you have to offer your books, your coaching services, your online courses, they will want to be part of everything you do. And they will tell everyone else about you. You have to have confidence and be consistent and build connections and community. Clarity breeds confidence. When people see that you have clarity, they will be more clear on what you do, how you do it, who you do it for, and why you do it, the way you do it. The more clarity you have, the more confidence you will be in being visible to your community as the expert and authority in your niche. And those that you want to attract will actually convert to clients. Likewise, the more clarity others have about your personal brand, the more confident they will be in you and they'll recognize why they should work with you or hire you, why you're the answer to their problem, how you can help them create a solution to achieve what they need and desire. When you have clarity and confidence, you are more likely to be consistent, to be consistently visible and create an emotional connection with your soulmate clients. This emotional connection drives people to join your community and hang on everything you say and refer you to others. Even if they don't hire you immediately, they are in your community so you can continue to consistently educate, inspire, and entertain to build trust. You will be front of mind. And when you're front of mind, you will be the first one they refer, even if they haven't hired you first. You can sell without selling when you build a personal brand and create a personal brand strategy that helps you become more visible consistently as the expert you are. But don't be timid. You'll hold yourself back. Instead, be self-disciplined and trust that the Holy Spirit's power is in you and will guide and support you. It's pretty cool that you have this power inside of you. So you can quiet those doubts, silence the enemy, embrace that clarity, knowing that God has called you for a purpose and he is providing you with all you need to be able to accomplish that. And that starts with your personal brand and being visible. To help you create your personal brand and a brand marketing strategy, I made a new ebook. Five Crucial Strategies to Start and Grow Your Business for Sustainable Success Without Social Media, of course. I've included the link to download the new ebook in the show notes, so you can just click straight from there or go to the website, therobingraham.com forward slash resources. If you were tired of trying to start and grow your business alone, put the fear aside and get the help you need. Sometimes it's idea generation. Other times it's needing someone to identify what's holding you back. Is it a lack of systems and processes? Is it your mindset? Is it a lack of understanding or clarity around who your soulmate clients are? Or what your gifts are and what differentiates you from everyone else? Other times it's just helping you see your calling and your purpose that God has laid out for you alongside your gifts and talents that he's given you. No matter what, if you've been in business zero to five years and don't have clarity or confidence and aren't growing, it's time to get help. And that's why I'm here. Don't be timid. Schedule a free strategy consultation. You have absolutely nothing to lose. I'm here to serve you, to help you, to guide you. Let me examine your personal brand to help you transform it into a solid foundation for sustainable business success.